we're going to be talking about do we think social media is a gift or a curse? So, like I said, also, oh, also, <laughs> Tui, Chris, and Brandon. <laughs> do we think it's a gift or a curse, social media? Alright, cool. Uh, personally, I think it's a gift. A little bit of curse comes with it, but overall, if you were to ask me, do I think it's, I, I think it's, it's so much of a gift, like 80-20. Yeah, I hear that. 80-20 gift. I'll say more 65-35. No, I mean. That's so it. precise. Let me add up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring, bring the decimals out. Yeah. You know what? The only way we're going to actually find out, yeah, is if I ask everybody, what good has it done for you, or what good have you seen it do, and what bad have you seen it do, and what bad has it done for you? But that way, yeah. we can actually come to some sort of conclusion. Okay. At least track. Chris, to be check? honest, I feel like um, I like social media. I think it's a gift, and not that I particularly like it, but I think it's a gift. The reason why is because I think it's created opportunity. It creates so much opportunity, and this is opportunity for people from the bottom, from the middle, from the top financially. It doesn't matter. Like it creates opportunity for everyone to get on saying. And this is something that people used to complain about so much before social media came. I see it more. A lot of people see it are um, distractions and. Uh, procrastination and it makes you feel like you need to be like this or that way like pretentious whatever but I see it as like look when you start your account account is zero 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 followers and you don't follow anyone and then from there you decide who you follow and you can actually decide who follows you and who sees your shit do you get what I'm saying and so I struggle to to um, call something like that a curse because I hear, I hear what you're saying. For, you're on full control. For, you are, but for control. me, I always think about the next generation, yeah. And if you think about them, like um, one of the things that was said in that in that documentary was something like um, social media and like that form is like their their form of communication rather than communicating in the real world. Do you know what I mean? So rather than talking to people, based they're on talking that. through social media. But also, oh God, go on. I saw. Um, um, what's that new one, the new social media app where they do loads of videos, TikTok, TikTok. Yeah. so imagine there's this guy he's in um, a restaurant I forgot, yeah. there's a guy and he's, he's in a restaurant and there's a girl sitting opposite him and he's got the camera and he's recorded this girl yeah. and he's like oh, TikTok, help me find her so he's literally right there he can get up and go talk to her but he recorded her, put it on TikTok and was like, oh guys, help me find her just so he can yeah, find the account I, and, yeah. I mean look, the alternative yeah, so. to that I could say is just not talking to her at all, which is actually what would happen. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? There are a lot of people who wouldn't approach a woman for no reason. However, they feel a lot more comfortable speaking to her if it was over yeah. an online platform. Yeah. People got married. And people meet like that. Yeah, yeah. People get married. So how can we, like, can we call it a curse? But okay, going back to the younger generation, I feel that that their minds are so easily influenced. We already know this. Do you know what I mean? Like. From when we were younger, we had magazines and TV and blah, blah, blah. Now, they have social media all the time, all the time, constantly. In schools, especially back home, where they're busy, bare people get lost in the system anyway, people don't have time to be talking to them because of the curriculum and the way things are, are laid out, to be talking to them about self-esteem and all these other things and not worrying about what they're seeing in social media. So they don't have time to be taught about being yeah. themselves in that sense, at least before. You know, these people still go to school. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying they're at school, but they don't. The influence that is coming from these outside things is a lot greater than when yeah, we were younger. I don't think and that stuff influences them highly. The reason I don't think so is because, like, they don't know any different. So yeah, what, but that's that's worrying. No, see, it's not. Do you know? Let me tell you why. Because what used to influence you back then was, say, for example, youth youth centers and youth clubs. Our generation probably went to a lot of youth centers and a lot of youth clubs. They mm -hmm. probably don't do that anymore. That's a different. There's a different. It's a different situation. Okay. So that's what we knew. The thing is, they still do that because that's more associated with care, isn't it? Yeah, but yes, yeah, so no, they might be doing that, but start scrolling on Instagram. So okay, okay let's, so let's think it another way. Thinking Instagram. about things like body dysmorphia, they the things like that will will. I don't know the percentages, yeah, but that'll be we, we, that'll be a lot higher than that. Okay, for instance, there's certain things I would like to get done for myself. But if I was a kid, 
going through Instagram and seeing all these bodies, I probably would have done that by now. Yeah, Rather that. than now, I've reached, what, 27, and I'm like, yeah, I still want to do it, but I need to be happy in myself and blah, blah. I can see these things, and I'm yeah, happy enough within myself to, to see it and be like, calm. As a young child who's unhappy, maybe getting a bit bullied, maybe not seeing the person that they I want to see. I think all that shit comes down to parenting. Because it does. It does. Because but let me tell you why. Yeah? Too busy. If, our parents are busy. And we want them on the blocks to chill. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think's worse? Well, chilling on the block or chilling on social media? Chilling on the block's much worse. Yeah, it's more dangerous. But again, it depends who you are, though. It, it just know? depends who you are. Yeah, everybody's, everybody's so different. Mm. And the way things are going to affect people are so different. Mm. Like, say, for example, if there was a girl there and I had TikTok, I'm not going to be like, oh, you're a TikTok, let me find her. I'm going to okay. mute her if I want to. But see, that's us. So you see, at the, no, end, of, at the end of that I guarantee you, my little nephew will do the exact same thing that I would. He'll just be like, oh, that's the thing that I'm going to check to. Okay. Regardless of, oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. The reason why I think social media is a gift is it widens your horizon. These kids are a lot more smart than we yeah, used to be. They are, they are. And to be honest, I think it only affects the weak. So I don't know, do you yeah, know who Ban Ban is? Yeah. Ban Ban. Bro, he bought a PS5 just to smash it <laughs> and put it on social media. Yeah, I saw that. And what? Bro, that's weird. Bro, it's the same thing our man will buy a bottle of champagne and throw it on the floor. Yeah, but this just for clout. Yeah, this, yeah, but what's no, the difference? Social feel, clout is a like, drug. Like, so I feel like the sad thing about it, yeah, is you know when you're that age, around fourteen or fifteen, you're so easily you're, influenced. No, like, you know God what, forbid, you do mad things. God forbid yeah. you find so it cool what? to buy a PS Five and dash it. Like, imagine, imagine even the 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 mum watching that who can't even afford to buy her son a PS Five, and she sees like the son sees him doing something like that. And so, like, let's not get it twisted. The only reason he did that is because of social media. Well, and he did no, not but listen, did that. Let's be honest, mean? yeah. He done something. No one does that unless they think other people are going to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. That's yeah. fine. That's the that's fine. fine. That no, and the reason, the reason it's not poison is because he's probably made more money from it. He's probably made more money from it. You, if, like, say the way you just said, oh, Bam Bam, do you know who Bam Bam is? No. Well, now you might go and look at who he is. No. You might. I might. Yeah, you, you might. Yeah, you might. So put a, you I'm might sure, put a view on I'm sure it is, but you might put a view on it. The that's made him more yeah. money. That's, that's why he's done it. Is YouTube and social media? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course it is. This is the other thing. Course, like when we talk about social media, remember we're talking about email. You're talking about social everything. media. WhatsApp is also social media. Everything and social. I think like you know the documentary which you referred to earlier was like so it's saying that. The problem with it is how addictive it is, mm. and how much power the people who control what we see have over us. Because even see, honestly, you know and when I was watching that documentary, it's called Social Dilemma. Mm. I don't think it's about we have power over you. It's mm. about it's about it's trying about, to give you no, what you want to see. That's I don't think it's got to do. I think I, I think there's two things. Yeah. It gives you what you want to see, and it helps you, right? Mm. Which is obviously a fucking gift. But at the same time, it makes them money because at the end of the day, all it's about yeah. is selling data. Mm. They're just selling data. No, they're not selling data. They're keeping yeah, they it. No, they're, they're selling data. Bro, they're not. Why? They're still in the documentary. They're, they're keeping, keeping it. it. Yeah, but it's keeping not it. in their best interest to sell the data because it's for them yeah, to be able to calculate what they want okay, to cool. use. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So there's two. Okay, in that sense. What, you know when people say, oh, they're keeping it, like they're watching you and all that shit. Don't give, give a fuck about who you are. Doesn't but, matter. Yeah, and but also what I'm they're saying not is, watching what you're doing. They're just yeah, watching what you're doing on 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 the on the team, yeah. so that they it, it's for profit. Do you know yeah. what I mean? People might disagree with that. People might agree with that. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. If I was in that position, I'd probably do the same fucking thing. Yeah, it's about getting an advantage. Now, I don't think you can go as far as saying that's a curse. Now, there was that situation of that little girl that was um, molested. Mm. Hope she's alright. But the only way my man got caught cool is because of social media. I hear you. Yeah, it's true. That's true. Which There's no other reason. Yeah. And if you can get shit like that happening, how, yeah. the, how can we call it a curse? Someone once said, like, we had this discussion before amongst the mandem, yeah, and someone said a similar situation had happened because a paedophile was able to know where someone um, girl goes to school yeah. and at what time she gets there or whatever something like this yeah. because of social media and social i think media. in that sense they sort of cancel each other out mm. but, no, at the, but at the same don't. time the girl what, 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 doesn't what, what, need to be sharing all of that information who doesn't need to be yeah. sharing the girl that what why does why is she posting exactly when she's leaving exactly? Well, Do you this know what I mean? The thing. That's, that's but this is what it comes to. down to because at the end of the day the the argument of social media is it because of the amount of data they have on us yeah 
It influences the amount of control they have over our behavior as such, our purchase behavior. And yeah, because those ads are mad. Social right? media yeah. makes, exactly, yeah. it's mad. Yeah. And it makes you, it makes you want yeah, to post. It's, it's, it's capitalism. It's what you want to buy. It makes you want You're to not, post. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, bro, like, I've seen so many situations where I'm having a conversation with someone about something, and then all of a sudden, that same ad pops up on their phone. Mm. Whether it's coincidence or whether it's done, but either way, you will conversate about it. Yeah, yeah. but the you problem is, the problem is that it's intrusive, isn't it? So, it is intrusive as well. Like, this how, is what people don't like. Yeah, 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 but so how much? It's not, there's how no much victim per se. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, it's intrusive, and that's but what how much? Don't like. How much of the things are intrusive that we're gonna say? Oh, this is too intrusive. You can't. And now, for the, going back to what you said about, oh yeah, there's this person who knows that this. Bro, if a paedophile wanted to do his tip, he would literally he, wait around. Doing it he, he would wait around the school, mm. regardless of social media. He'd wait and do whatever he needs to do. And we've had examples of that. It doesn't take a genius to go, oh, there, there's a school where I'm a fucking paedophile. I need to do that. Okay. okay. And do you know what? In another sense as well, there's been like police or whatever different organize organize I don't know how to call it organizations that have infiltrated social media to get, get people like that. Yeah. yeah. However, yeah. the other thing is, bro, you're forgetting that paedophiles, social media is heaven for these people. Mm. Yeah, it allows them to communicate, again, allows them to organise and allows them to share loads of underage But yeah, again, it goes back to what it, Timmy was saying about like, being having your private stuff. And at the same time, I'm you can go on Google oh yeah, that, that's what I mean. I'm and go going on to Google images, you can just type in children. Do and you know then, what I mean? but then yeah. the, the the trouble comes because where do those images come from? The the so sharing, yeah, yeah, yeah. the sharing of images, mm. the sharing of content, the conversations. Sure. These are things which yeah, we, we not only really, yeah I have, yeah, but yeah. listen, these are things which not make people paedophiles. But if someone's on the bridge as to be a paedophile or kind of finds children attractive, it social media aids them in acting on their sin. Yeah, you yeah, get what yeah, I'm trying yeah, to say, yeah. bro. But you so, know what it is, yeah. I'm not disagreeing with you. I totally agree with you, but. On the conversation, whether it's a gift or a curse, I just can't call it a curse. Yeah, I agree. I think I, I can't think, call it. A I curse think it is a gift because it's helping so many small businesses, so many like, people, right. so many people to outreach. But at the same time, yeah. most gifts come with a bit of. Like, one thing, one thing that we have yeah. You know I, mean? I just think there's nothing you really, nothing great you're gonna make will not have its flaws. That yeah. Like it's guns, for example. Guns were designed to stop criminals. Were designed. For blah blah blah. No, no it's were they? Or were they designed for war and to take over countries that didn't have guns? That's fine. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No problem. But it's it's like, that, that all depends on the person. Like, bro, I'm just trying to say. I'm just trying to say. Like, even for example, being black and that, for example, yeah. Mm. There's so much awareness that's been created because of social media. Driven because yeah. of social media. NSARS, for example. Mm. When I saw NSARS, I don't know who else thought this, but I thought about COVID. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't think COVID would be as bad if social media was SARS. No, I mean SARS. Okay. SARS is actually like still going on. No, nah, COVID. SARS. SARS. The blah blah. blah the SARS that happened in 2012. Oh, okay. So oh, okay, until okay. I kept seeing N SARS, I was like, oh, what the click. Oh shit! This is what they're doing to Nigerians. Blah blah. Yeah. And then it helped on a mad level. Yeah. But then I feel like every benefit of social media also has a counter, right? Yeah. It so does. equally, say. Um, one thing social media has increased rapidly is the rate of suicide, for example, right? Mm -hmm. So say a child is being bullied. It's like now it's a thing where they're being bullied 24-7. They get home on Instagram, all these comments, comments, comments. Like, but again, they can't be free. it comes to Do you remember Tyler, the creator's tweet? No. Do you remember Tyler, the creator's tweet? He was like, like, how the hell is cyberbullying read? Like, just walk away from the computer. But it's true, but though. No, when but it comes but back to what you said, it is a it's a curse, social media is a curse for the weak minded, mm. which is a shame and it could uplift you. But you see that as well. But if, I feel like if someone's getting bullied, if I found out my child was getting bullied and they, and they didn't tell me, I'd be vexed. Because mm. I'd be like, how, first of all, how are you taking this? Second of all, why haven't you come to me? Why haven't you come to your teachers? Because you see, social media bullying is, like, it's called cyberbullying, is taken very seriously within pretty much all schools. Yeah, but Do you know I, what think, I, mean? I think you're finding so, like, like this whole. Even as us when we grew up, like this whole no snitching thing, isn't it? You're not gonna go and make yourself worse by going to tell a teacher. No, but people oh, snitch. No, no, no. Social media is all about say. snitching. It's and different now. Time, it's different and now. And then at the same time, there's elements to it. You know, when you're at that tender age where you're just so vulnerable, you you may not. 
want to. Like, it just shouldn't be happening full stop. Do you get yeah, what I'm but, trying to say? But bullying has been happening from time. Even when we were kids, we had been. MS, MSN. It yeah. has been. Bullying was now, happening from But MSN. now, yeah, exactly. but now it's a thing. Like, but yeah. now it's a thing oh, where you can do something. <laughs> hey, do you remember what came out when we were at uni when that guy was both and one girl on the stairs? Yeah. For every single yeah. morning that comes out. Yeah. 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 Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, this is a good example. Don't be My man every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So so this guy obviously yeah. he did what he did in it. Mm. If it weren't for social media, that would have gone away. Yeah. Now, like you just said, it comes up. I don't know where he is yeah. yet. <laughs> but <laughs> he, you know it's coming. He, he knows every year that shit is gonna come back and bite him because that's priceless. Yeah. And yeah. it's so much fun for us. But for him, should have done it, should he? Yeah, but yeah, it's you easy put, to say I that. But imagine if yeah, it was you, you. Put, not, doing not, that, doing not doing that, but doing something else. Yeah, but that's yeah, cool. Actually, the thing is, if it's say. something as so, mad as that, that's a bit mad. You gotta deserve it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a bit mad. That, that is sour because it's not people, no, as human beings, we make mistakes. We make mistakes. It's not a mistake. He's done that before. He's done that. He never got burned. Night out on the stairs, that's just it was his face when they clapped him. Was to it. <laughs> but but do you get my point? Is okay, so we said it wasn't for social media, yeah, yeah, it would have gone away. That's yeah. it. I'm not even trying to say whether it's justified. Yeah, but he's I'm just saying it would have yeah, gone away. Is, yeah. And this is the danger of social but media. But the maddest thing about you see the maddest thing about negative things on social media is I guarantee you, yeah. Uh, okay, not guarantee, but if you have brought out something, it might have blown. Because of what? Uh, if you have music or something, if you'd like, have brought out something, it might have blown. So, for example, look at Fergie, yeah, coming fast, that brother, yeah. Like, he got bullied. That, that, that's kind of bullying because everyone was laughing at him. Yeah, what yeah, happened yeah. to him? Do you know what I mean? On social media and that. Like, it was funny as fuck, but it was at his expense because he was actually really hurt. Mm. But he saw it. His head was made collapsed. a lot of money. He probably yeah. made decent he made money. Song, didn't he? Remember his song? Yeah, yeah. He, made his, he made his tune. Okay, okay so yeah, some the two things that I think are bad about social media, and I'll say them both before we discuss them. One, you lose your street knowledge because on so on Twitter, people just think it's okay to say anything to anyone, and when they get away with it on Twitter, they will slip up in person and, and they because they think they're just throwing insults about on Twitter and it's fine. They will do it in person and they'll get in trouble and they can get really really hurt. So they're not they're not street smart anymore. And the second one is, if someone's getting punched up and he's like blooded on the floor, I think the youth of today. Eight out of ten of them grab their phones out and record rather than checking if he's okay. Mm. Just to post it. So someone was saying snitching is cool now. And it's not really snitching, snitching, but anything that happens, everyone's just trying to grab a video and post it. Which is snitching to a certain extent. Just yeah, to show yeah. everyone, just to mm. Yeah, that is snitching. You see the person do it. Yeah. But I, I don't they don't they're not snitching on purpose, but it's just every single thing that happens, no matter whether it's good or bad. And this is my whole point. Why do people feel the need to do that? If there was no platforms to share this content, they wouldn't do it at all. Yeah. But the way that they use our data to influence us and keep us on the apps and keep us driven and keep us engaged, mm. make us feel like no, but you as know soon why? as we I see it's of that. we want to record I don't think it's because of that. It's because if I saw something mad and I came and told you about it, you wouldn't really understand. Exactly. So you wouldn't it. really share my... Bro, you that's wouldn't true. see. Until if you, if you saw on. it through my eyes, yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's sure. different because you're like yeah. the camera's my eyes. Yeah, but do this... you know what I mean? And I come and show it to you, and we we have actually a conversation about it. Like that's why. So I don't think it's because that, that we're need... controlled and this. this no, this, no. And that, but the thing this. is, that need itself is your data. That's your information. But you're not showing it to they, a friend. They know. You're it to they know everyone. this. Yeah. Oh, people I'm react saying. like this when they see something. So yeah. let's make a social media where they can share things instantly, yeah. right? And then the dangers come from that. Do you get what I'm saying? Now it's got to the point for me. Anytime I see something out of the ordinary or ridiculous or funny, even abusive and negative, I want to get my phone. Yeah. yeah. I find it hilarious and I yeah. know my people will too. Yeah. But this is this is the danger because like this is something they premeditated. Nothing's a mistake. I don't know. Nothing's premeditated. Do you think Absolutely. Yeah. Bro, nothing nothing is a mistake. I don't think they premeditated. Bro, you don't underestimate like the amount of like imagine them are analysts that Facebook mm. Insta like Facebook owns Instagram and WhatsApp. It's huge. Yeah. 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 It said there was a video the other day that we saw on Instagram. We'll try and post it, we can find it. Um, they were saying like the most powerful people, oh man, I can't president, billionaire, um, social media owner, and then there were two more maybe universities and something else, right? Mm -hmm. And the most powerful out of all of them 
was the social media. Yeah, but exactly. even in the documentary, didn't they say something about um, they put they do like little different tests out and they run different things to subliminally influence people. So that yeah. they did stuff for elections and different things, and they showed it worked. Well, well, yeah, of course, it's crazy but because you do that. They do that for money. They yeah, of course, profit. everything comes down to money. That's you do it for a profit. Does come down to money. It's you do it for a profit, but the thing about social media, which I can't see as a curse for whatever reason, is because you always have a choice. Yeah, you yeah. have a choice, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, but you have okay, a choice. No, you have a yeah, choice yeah. because if you have a choice to make the account in the first place, you have a choice to see who follows you in the mm. first place. Even if you're a celebrity or you're famous or you're whatever, you still have a choice. It's not really a choice to be fair. But so okay, imagine. Yes, this, you do. Imagine we're in school, yeah. all of us, yeah. and you three have got social media, and I don't. Yeah. In the classroom, you guys are talking about everything that's happening. I have no idea what's happening. Mm. Sooner or later, I'm going to become an outcast. Whether I want social media or not, yeah. if I'm not up to date with it's still a choice. It's like, it's like, do you know, know, I'm not going to choose to be alone. Like, yeah, back in the no, day, no, when no, I was a kid, choice. I didn't have Pixel. I didn't have, what was the other one? Like, Bebo. I had Bebo, the other one. MySpace. Yeah, I didn't have MySpace. I didn't have things like that. When people were talking about I didn't give a shit. Oh, yeah, like, it was so, such a small scale. It was, it was a small scale, but yeah. it comes back to what you're saying. It was true. I didn't have it. Bro, yeah, no, no, matter what, no matter how hard it is, you still have a choice. Yeah, but, and not only do you have a choice, you have a choice once you have it to control yeah. who you have on there. Sure. And what you you're genuinely looking, do. But you know I can compare it to? Something which is on an equal scale to social media is the banking system, right? Yeah. How many laws and regulations are in the banking system to protect everyday consumers. Mm. The reason why is because they have access to so much information about consumer spending, consumer habits, that they can actually put out um, adverts out there that are going to make us do ridiculous things, like sign up to car finance with stupid premiums, because mm. we just don't understand. I think social media is actually comparable. And the problem is, social media has grown so fast and is so new, that there hasn't actually been time yet to put in these regulations. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because, um, and say for example, uh, with a freedom of speech, like yeah. shit, lots of people getting censored, shit, lots of people getting banned off Twitter, yeah. and because it's a private entity that Twitter, whatever, is private. So the law of freedom of speech doesn't really apply yet. Yeah. So the regulations in there. So you can say something on, on Twitter now and get banned, but you've got a right to freedom of speech. But that doesn't apply because it's private. Yeah, yeah, yeah those sanctions need to come in, of course. But still, bro. For us to actually have a conversation and ask if it's a gift or a curse, yeah. I just can't sit here and say it's a curse because, yeah. like, so many people have got rich on social media. Mm. So many people have got fit on social media during lockdown. Mm. The amount of people that were doing home workouts, these people mm. were giving people something to live for. People were working out to live for because they were so fucking bored at home mm. or they were so stressed and can't do nothing. It's given, given so much, so much like purpose to people. That I just can't sit here and say the whole thing okay. a curse. It's always as a curse. Do you know what? I don't know if I'm being old or if I'm just being naggy, but do you know one thing I hate so much? Do you guys have Twitter? No, I've I got it, but I don't really use it. So basically, you, like, someone will say something funny and it will go viral and get thousands of retweets. Yeah. And bro, like, every three or four months, you'll see someone tweeting the exact same thing over and over again just to blow. And I don't know why I just find that so annoying. It's like, you're, it's cloud chasing. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, why? I don't care. No, but for me, it's annoying. That like, I don't know me. why, but it's, it shouldn't really bother you. It shouldn't. And another thing, see, social media was reminding me. I was under no impression that racism was going away, but social media is actually reminding me how racist this world still is. Yeah, even the same music. Is that a good thing? Yeah, yeah I, I think, think it's I don't think that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. that's why social media is bad. I don't think that's a good thing. Yeah, but then that's why social media would be bad because it's not a good thing. Yeah. I think, for me, thing. for yeah, me, because, I think no, it no. is a good thing that it's made, it's making people more aware that right. racism it's is still, still around. Yeah, yeah. Because for me, I have a lot of friends from a lot of different ethnicities that I will make more of a conscious effort to Let me Let me tell you what I like in it too, yeah? Let's go. You don't mind like this one, man. But <laughs> when Obama was in was in was in office, yeah, it's like there was hardly any division in America. But when Trump was in office, it's like there's a lot of division in America. But people disagree with him, don't really shit. But I think that's down to the media labeling him as something. Mm. Mm. And once you label him, it's all over. Other people come out and say, "Oh yeah, that's true." Yeah. And other people it's come true. out and actually channel out their things. Mm. But 
is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's a bad thing. That's what we're Don't you think it's very mad how the president of the United States was just tweeting like a, a random person? Don't you think that's mad? No. You don't think that, I think that's Do you know what? The thing is, people why would you keep saying this so much, much, but I don't understand why. I think why like, you care Donald so Trump, yeah, I'm not being funny, but he did get shit done. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah, he, he was a businessman. He man. took a very different approach to Barack Obama. Now, what all the things he did, right, well, whatever, but... You know, it you depends. Know, it depends. You know, I've actually become sensitive to this because I would have taken a very different tone before. But now I'd say it depends, like how much you put emphasis on what matters. Do you get what I'm yeah. saying? How much does it matter that someone's a nice guy? Yeah, I hear you. you. Know, yeah. How much does, does it matter? matter? So people like me and Tim, I don't care. If someone's a nice guy as long as they get the job done. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, but to a lot of people, people just pay. It. To a lot of people, yeah, actually, actually, just pay it. <laughs> but to a lot of people, it actually does matter how nice someone. Yeah, is. but someone's as nice as what they're portrayed to be. I hear that. I hear that. Social saying. media has a big impact. If the influence on social media, media, I'm talking straight way. media. I'm talking straight news yeah, articles, too. CNN, Fox, ABCs, The Sun, blah blah, blah Daily Mail, whatever. If they portray someone to be a nice person, automatically they're nice people. So that was with football. You see how like Sterling you said, they won the... You, you said this to me a couple of days ago. You said, did you say if, if Trump was black and yeah, he yeah, was white, he was like... They would have killed yeah. him. It would have been... No, 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 no killed him, killed him like that. It would have been fine. I think he would have been very would have been fine. fine. Yeah, I think so. I Everything would have been fine. The narrative would have been very different. Narrative would have been different. How so? It would have been. They would have been like, this is Jesus. Yeah, they would have been like, they this guy is strong, he's powerful, he Bro. says what he needs to say. Look, yeah, you see, yeah, he says what he needs to say, he's a strong it man. Is this is the, the, this is the stuff that he's been through. Bro, Trump was black. Bro, think about it. It, actually think about it. Very mm. And I hate those narratives. And bringing it back to what we're saying, how social media been bad to you? Oh, personally to yeah. me? I think what I hate about social media, the one thing I honestly would say is fucking bad to me, yeah, is the amount of fake news on social media. Yeah, right. fake news. I'm gonna come, come back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to that. Go on. What about you? Me personally. Yeah, personally, on a personal level, because everyone's very quick to say it's a curse. But I want to know personally. It's more of a, a, an annoyance. Like, it hasn't been bad to me personally. It's kind of been good to me, to be fair. So no, no more. What about you? Nah, it hasn't been bad to me, can't it? At it's all. Just, it's just time because it nothing's just, been bad. Uh, it's just that I will, like, it's like everyone, you can find yourself flicking for 20 minutes and then I'm like, oh, let me be in the room, like, let yeah. me actually be with these people I'm with, or hang on, this person's been on their phone, or that person's been on their phone. But does it, do you think, do you feel, with that, yeah, you see when you go on it too much, yeah, mm. does, do you think it affects your productivity in life? What? Yeah, thousand yeah. percent it does. Do you go on it at work? Depending, because, yeah. I depend it, yeah. And but do you like, oh, think, I the thing about social media is, yeah. are you passing time or actually doing something that makes sense? That's what I mean. So sometimes I might go on Instagram or something to look up something. Like, I'll follow, like, early years ideas, do you know what I mean? So I get a lot of my ideas that I make from them, which is amazing. But then I slide off and I'm looking at random shit that I'm very Yeah, but you know what, and another... Uh, but that's, that's yeah. also a personal thing, because it's, like, self-control. I think, but, I mean? but, I, but I, then again, yeah, I think when we flip switch goes... Flip through wow. social media, that makes you sane in a way. Yeah, yeah. You get your fix. Yeah, yeah. You get your fix. It's not yeah, a good thing. You no, get your fix. It's not good. You get your fix. So it's just dead. I'm looking at dead stuff. Okay, so some of it might be a bit funny. Wait, imagine, might imagine, imagine if you didn't have it, you'd be like, oh, that's the problem. No. Because right, here's the thing. Okay, just just last weekend, yeah, I didn't go on no social media for like four days. Yeah. I felt great. Like, I actually had time right, to cool. actually... Do it for a month. I thought, I thought, I'll do it for a month. Yeah, do it. I and did it for a month not that long ago. I literally reflect, I actually was able to reflect on different things that I don't normally think of. Or like things I want to put to the back of my brain. I hear you. And like, I just was like, oh, I want to go to the sun. Get up and go, go yeah. lay outside. Rather than, oh, let me just lay in bed for 20 minutes. Oh shit, I've been here for 40 minutes looking at my... I just got up, did stuff. The reason I showed you, what do you think? What do you think? When I, what well, what, how because the thing is, back whenever back. someone says something negative, you say that's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually, I'm like, fuck you! No, no, no this is like, actually what they're doing in those offices that like, make billions and billions. This is what they're doing. They're what, ensuring what, honestly, that. Honestly, like, I feel things. like just for, like, they do their thing. And I don't, I don't see why. So how's it negatively It hasn't. Hasn't. All right, let's flip it. How's it positive? The only way it's negatively affected me is it's had me back before. Uh, Got me caught. Wait, sorry. Like doing things that I shouldn't be doing. That's, that's the problem. What? Yeah? Like, obviously, like, when men, like, get me, like, <laughs> 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 Oh, let's do it. How is it yeah. positively? Wait, before we do that, can I just ask you a question? 
You see how you said you didn't go for it for two days and you felt good? Yeah. Isn't that a bad thing? Because eventually you're coming back to it and you don't really want to be there. Like if you feel good... Yeah, I haven't been on it as much since. Okay. I haven't. Mm. Because well, personally, when I, I, when I went to Shanghai... It's not necessary for me. It's not needed. Yeah, but if it's not, then you know that. Do you know what yeah, it's so like? Yeah, exactly. That's Timmy, do you know what it's like though? It's like, even the tobacco industry, how long did it take for them to start putting um, dirty pictures on the front of cigarettes? Yeah. Mm. It took them a long that time, but they it. had to do it because Decades. it's important <laughs> that people know that this shit is bad for you. Yeah. It's like, social media is just not yeah, that point yet, but it's important yeah. that it does because a bit it's, different, though, it's not healthy. Different. It's not a bit different. It's the different reason why is no, 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 the no, reason no, why no, is because no, it's no, literally no, a drug. No, Being on social media releases dopamine in your mind. It's literally addictive. It's addictive. Mm. Yeah, but a bit different to cigarettes though. Don't yeah, you remember? It's addictive. It's, it's, it's not different for you. It's, it's addictive. Like this is actually fucking up your body, like actually like yeah, exiting. But, but your mind's the most important yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah cool, 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 cool. But it's actually exiting. So then you haven't made any money off smoking cigarettes. Okay, all right, let's go back. Let's go. Say nothing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but just because something makes money doesn't mean it's a oh, good thing. Oh, people. yeah. People make money off selling drugs. That doesn't mean that it's a good thing. Bro. No, of course not. Of course not. But cigarettes hasn't done that. So you can't use cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. but even though cigarettes hasn't done that. <laughs> so you don't think people should like, know there's how nothing bad it is. On, There's nothing on alcohol. What do you mean? There's no bad pictures of There's alcohol. loads of bad content on alcohol. Some countries don't even, in in Dubai you're not even allowed to advertise alcohol. That's true. You are now there's a lot of places you can't. So you don't think that people should know how bad social media is? Are you not saying that they should like I think I think the bad things I think content. the bad things about social media, number one is down to parenting. Mm. Yeah, I agree. From a young age. Education. Right. But you know in school and number two, they teach the kids about like don't put your birthday where you live and all of them things. What are we arguing about? No, but listen, I just think, <laughs> <laughs> listen, the problem with social media, yeah, is I feel like it's easy to under, underestimate the power and influence that this, Which? these vehicles, these I'm vehicles not. have on us. Like, I'm not, I'm not underestimating. And it's, it yeah. is negative. I'm not. Although you may not feel you like it's negative to, to you. But you know why it's not for us? Do you remember, you see Social Dilemma, remember at the end, he was like, we know how bad it is. <laughs> what? Did they you watch that part, Oh, thank you. Basically, at the end, he said, for us, it's okay because we know the difference. So we know we're in a matrix, so it's cool for us. But it was like, how can you wake up from the matrix if you don't know you're in one? Yeah, Obviously, true. we know the difference. We had social media. We was there before social media. These kids, all they know is social media. But then again, again, it comes down to personal people. I think it's just showing how dumb some people are. Like, do you remember what it's like? On social media, this girl, remember when they first allowed you to put pictures on your credit card mm. or your debit card? The first thing this girl done was, oh my god, look at my credit card, took a picture of it, posted it online. I so, can't lie, when that's, I, knew, I nearly did that. Yeah, so. okay, I was going to say that's because they're stupid. Yeah, but this is time ago. You don't know about jurors, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, exactly, if you knew about jurors, you'd never do that shit. Do you know why? Because I went to send it to my friend, and they were like, yeah, yeah, that's sick. And then I went to it, and I was like, ah, no. I didn't do it. Well, you can put your own picture on the credit card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On, my, on my bottom of these cards, yeah, first, on my phone. I've got, I've got oh, sir, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's oh, sir, so I didn't know that. So the girl was so dumb, she was like, oh my god, guys, look at my new card. Big Twitter. Yeah. Good for her, man. So then again, I don't think it's a curse. <laughs> was, was that good? Was that, was that good? <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's a curse because it just, it's highlighting stupid people and they need to learn the hard way kind of thing. Yeah. But what? again, it's under-educated, like, come yeah. on. You have that shit, though. If my mom our, our, we had that version though. Mm. We had the version of our, our little version of that. Right, anyway. I mean? yeah, sorry, I we're we're, talking, we're so, talking about a gift or a curse, yeah. We've talked a lot about curse, so I want to hear about the gifts. Good thing. Yeah, come o- on. Only man. fans. Not, I'm not a subscriber on that, but... Is like, it because you heard it? I no would never do that, please. But the girls who are on Only Fans, they're making a so, yeah. Alright, cool, some, but... Okay, so you personally, friends, what's been good for you? Cheeks. Marketing. Yeah, cotton it. It's good marketing. I get to see, I get to access news mm. as quickly as I want. If I want like... Especially, if you I know, especially watch, news in Dubai. If I, if I want to watch, if, if, I'm, if I'm out, or say I'm, I'm like, say I'm at work or something, and like, there's a football match going on, quickly I need to check a goal that's been scored. Mm. I can actually hashtag be able to score that goal, yeah. find that yeah, goal. Yeah. Yeah. I do that as well, yeah. Do you know, make that how life has become 
ridiculously easy. <laughs> that shit. Yeah. He joking. Like if there's a bit of news, bit of gossip, yeah, just type in the hashtag on Twitter. Mm. Boom. Comes up. You wanna find a obviously you wanna find a mm, mm, mm. you can just <laughs> search yeah. search the app and boom, you're on there like yeah. you joking like <laughs> But you see how you're talking about the news? But living in Dubai, I found social media very useful for news, things like what's on Dubai. What's it? News. Sorry, news. News. <laughs> like, okay, cool. What's on Dubai? Everything that's, that's happened like, during lockdown. I found that through yeah, 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 yeah. online. Yeah, yeah. What's that one? Loving. Loving. Loving the bike. And also the, the government ones post stuff as well. Yeah, the bike, the bike, whatever it's called. The bike. Like, even, the bike even, um, even someone just sent me something yeah. about the UK lockdown. Something about UK lockdown just come through. Oh, I know but that goes back to what Chris said. It's annoying how much fake news gets put out there at the same it's time. It's true, but no, that's, I what, feel like that's like why certain places like Loving only post real news. So that's just why need you need to know where you need to get your news. Post. Yeah, and yeah. Even look, this, this is the thing, yeah. I I personally think it's a gift, yeah. I just don't you buy it or in general? In general, general, I just don't think it's regulated enough, and it really needs to be. Mm-hmm. It will really? because, really? because the things that make it a curse, I feel like, can be controlled, mm. and they need it. Really needs to be regulated because that, I, think, I think they have way too much power. They have mm. a lot of power, and we can't ignore that. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Maybe. But for me, but what's helped me is work. Like I work on WhatsApp, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. everyone works on WhatsApp. Especially yeah, I, mean. I am the buyer who doesn't work on WhatsApp. Mm. I've closed mad deals on WhatsApp. Mm. Even so without social media. Because yeah. yeah. it's one to one. Still yeah. social media. Yeah, yeah. WhatsApp's what social like what defines like social media is like collaborative. Like, okay. And you can share pictures, like, you can send instant messages. Yeah, like you have like stories on WhatsApp as well. Yeah, that's the cool thing. Stories. Got stories on Twitter now. People, yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, WhatsApp, like people put more formal stuff on there. Like if you're doing a project or work, you put it on WhatsApp. Do you know what I'm saying? I was with one. Yeah, yeah. I was with yeah. one. When I was funny though, I was with one young person. I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Send me WhatsApp so I can send you the send. Just send. I needed the ID. I was like, send me the ID on, on WhatsApp. She was like, I don't have WhatsApp. That's for old people. <laughs> she what is? She's eighteen. What, what do you use? I don't know, fam. It's not. <laughs> I was like, what? Okay, but <laughs> to be fair, you see when you talk to people, I don't know me personally, like in a social manner. I talk to people more on Instagram than WhatsApp. I don't know why. Um, it depends. Uh, on, on, a, on a social manner, yes. Like if I'm talking to you, it goes off. I, I spoke to you more on Instagram WhatsApp. than yeah, WhatsApp. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I spoke to you more on Instagram than WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah my, uh, my WhatsApp mm. genuinely is for like work mainly, mm. mainly. But obviously, it's instant message. The thing is, we're not even. Yeah. The thing is, we're not even heavy social media users. No, we're not. But also the influencers, yeah, who had. You have no future. All of a sudden, have futures. Yeah, yeah. Because they're they're influencers and they got personalities that they want to show to the world. Fine. But I think that's also. I, I, no think that's, yeah. I think that's a different conversation because I feel set with influencing certain things, it can only go so far unless you actually. No, have, don't be stupid. No, because <laughs> not all of them are going to get everywhere. No, of course also, not all of them. Not all accounts are going to do that. Not all. Not all, not all, if you don't not have all real person, estate agents are going to do anything. Not all of anything is going right, to do fair. anything. Cream at the top, rise to the top, and that's it. What was you saying about OnlyFans earlier? Oh, do you know what? I remember, do you know Loz? There was um, Jay Loss's ex. She must have created a, a, a fee OnlyFans account, and within like three days, she made like what, five, six grand. Well, I was thinking that. about it, that's why he's been having his toes out. He's fishing right, for that down, My feet are nice. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, so it just, you see, more power to the women, fair enough. But it's just highlighting how weird men are. But like, you know, with that, I, th- I just feel like also with stuff like that, it gives them a hundred of how weird men are. What? What are you talking about? Bro, there's so many weird men like. Men just paying to see girls. Yeah. It's not like, your business. Don't look at It's not your business. But it's the world we live in. Yeah, but you're surrounded by these weirdos. You give a fuck, bro. You do stuff that a lot of men won't agree with. <laughs> in <Yes. me>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. That, that exists what? anyway, innit? Yeah, yeah, it's like there. there. Yeah. It's there. You know, man, slide into girls' DMs and ask for old shoes and yeah. pieces of feet and whatever. Anyway, yes. so oh. yeah, it's okay. weird. Like, so it's better that they pay online only fans people that are selling it than getting around as a woman getting around the message. Okay, so, like, so, 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 like, so say if there's no social media, them thoughts because you can't slide into your DMs oh. and ask you for feet. They're just gonna stay as thoughts. No. That's true. No, no, it's, no it's not. No, no it's, it's just gonna. I'm definitely. It's not. Do you know what? Asking to see people 
people's feet? No, nah, of course she had, but the thing is, what he's trying to say is, yeah, there's a lot more people who are on the bridge, okay. and social media allows them to come so. out Let me tell you and something. do it a lot more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if there was no social media, none of this would be possible. Mm. I hear yeah. so, but that's only one outlet. <laughs> It, shows, <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. That's yeah, it just, does, bro. No, it's not. It's just like, okay, cool, yeah. Bro, do you know how much would it be? It's just it one outlet. Do you know how much would be a thing if it wasn't for social media? <laughs> Fuck it, no, man. <laughs> bro, actually, Jesus. social media made that popular. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked it. That's what I'm saying. What's he talking about, bro? That's what I'm saying. You do some weird shit. You know, <laughs> people would <laughs> agree with Wait, that. I don't do that. But, yeah. Uh, I don't do that. But you do, man. Twitter made it like a popular thing. Bro, I've never yeah, seen we, it. Like, like we said, we don't really like, use we don't, Twitter. Like, we're not really <laughs> on here. We don't but know. like, fam, I, like, if there would be so much things that just wouldn't be possible. So many positive things. Look, we, I get that, yeah. But then the dangers lie in the other side of that. Bro, why bro. Why does this work so well? Yeah, so as as it's been bad for you in Dubai. Like, I'm not, do you know what it is? I'm playing devil's advocate. I hate you. Because I really do see the dark side of social media. But I think it's a... Uh, I think social media is a great thing because I know how to manage it. Yeah. I read just we, as much yeah. as I go on social media. Mm, I spend two hours reading a day. I spend probably less time than that on social media, do you got what I'm trying to say? Mm. But I understand yeah, so as well. But I understand yeah. as well that it makes you procrastinate so much. Yeah. Like there's something about social media that makes you so distracted that it makes you not want to work as much as you wanna procrastinate. Mm. Do you got what I'm trying yeah, to say? People so, being procrastinated before social media. Yeah. So I remember you saying that there was like Facebook groups for girls that come out and they can Yeah, they're up. they're really good. Yeah. There's like there's a few Facebook groups. Not yeah, actually the ones I'm in are mainly for women. But like there's are a bit yeah. There's a business one. <laughs> so for like women who are like obviously starting up their own businesses in Dubai, things get a bit techy, obviously everyone doesn't know and understand how to get different licensing and everything and even like you're not back home in it, you don't know where good suppliers are and every, all of those kinds of things. So you literally just throw in a question and everyone's there to help each other. Same way there's other groups like ATB and that girl Dubai and girls are just in there and they're just like some girls are like, oh, I'm really lonely. Some people want advice on different things. Like some yeah, people are true. selling stuff. It's really good. Like girls have met each other through there and like have fought off their loneliness and other, other things that are different. You know what? You know what I mean? They got group. Brits in Dubai for that as well, yeah. Exactly. Because one time I saw someone post like, has anyone got the, you know the tray that you need to put your, your SIM card on to put in your phone? Oh, yeah. They lost the tray, yeah, mm -hmm. of like an iPhone 5 or something. I don't know what phone it was, yeah. And they were like, oh, I know it's a long shot, but has anyone got, that's the voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the voice in Dubai voice. I know, I know it's a oh, long shot. Oh, has anybody shot. got a tray? <laughs> anyone, has anyone got a tray for iPhone 5? I've lost it. And someone was like, yeah, come pick it up later. Exactly. Yeah. And there's bare furniture no. selling things on Facebook as well. The other day I needed to get some shit out of my house. I literally was like, free washing machine, come get it. Bang, gone. Yeah. Free? And yeah, because I'm. What yeah. do you mean? <laughs> why do you mean free? If you put free. Why? 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 Mm. Like you don't have to go to shops, you can just get it delivered to your... So just call them, mate. No one uses Instashop, bro. I use Instashop. I use Instashop. Yeah, alright, whatever, well, mate. Just call the, your local. Oh, so I'm no, no, no. This, this I like to shop around. Yeah, you can never look. Just, mate, so that's a good thing, like, you literally, in Dubai, you never really have to leave your home for anything. Dubai is like that, though. But that's a bad thing as well, because you get lazy. Dubai. Yeah, yeah, why is because that how many steps have you done today? Wait, why is that a bad thing? Because it's lazy. This is why. That's not a bad thing, man. Why is being comfortable a bad thing? You get lazy. It's not about, yeah, so it's what? lazy. You get lazy to go to the shop at 10, 10 pm. Bro, why do I need to go to the shop at 10 pm? When I can just put some, I put money in someone else's pocket and they can do it because yeah, they're actually working. Yeah, it's, actually working. it's a good you thing. Pump, it's a you pump money to the economy as well. And yeah, but it's like, it's like we're saying it is a gift and a curse. It's yeah. a gift. That's a gift, mate. It's, 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 it's not a curse.